I'm always gonna have to write because that's the only way that I that's the only way I can communicate for myself, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. and be able to figure out how I actually feel. Yeah. Mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up? What up? What up, man? It's your boy Shy Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit, motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy, Shy vs. Everybody Podcast, episode 207. Man, 207, man. Uh, if you ain't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the page. Make sure you like and share. I know y'all motherfuckers don't do it. Um, <laughs> follow me on IG, Shy vs. Everybody underscore podcast. Make sure y'all follow my producer, Q.Lewis313. Show us some love and, yeah, you know what I'm saying, tap in. But uh, we got, you know what I'm saying, two special guests in the building. One of them is a third, you know, she cousin. She a cousin now. You know what I'm saying? It's her third time on the show. You Locked know what I'm saying? In. One of my favorite singers from the city. We got Tori Scott in the building, man. What's that? To her left, we got somebody who I've been trying to get on, but our our schedules ain't, you know what I'm saying, yeah. aligned. Yeah. But everything happened for a reason. Mm -hmm. She one of the best singers, too. You know what I'm saying? We got Miss Christiana in the building. Hey, What's good? That's, that's my much. friend. For real. They're right. professional <laughs> singers, and you know what I'm saying? Writers, y'all write too, don't you? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah y'all everything. So yeah, y'all, you know, some y'all some dope people to have on the show. Thank but uh, you. you know how we do it, Tori. We start everything with salute me while I'm here. We uh give flowers to somebody who don't expect it. So it can't be if you're in a relationship, your kids, your mom and dad. It gotta be somebody out of that easy answer. So y'all got somebody y'all want to show some love to on this Sunday morning? I'm gonna let you go first. Why well, I gotta go first? Because it's your first time. But I'm new here. <laughs> I feel like you should go first. Show me how it's done. All right. Um, <laughs> I am going to give my flowers to. This is gonna sound selfish, but I'm gonna give them to myself. I know that's right. Salute yourself. I'm gonna give them to myself because um, I feel like every time I've been on here, you catch me at like a different part of like life? my journey. You feel for me? Sure, so sure. I feel like from where I was at the last time I came to being here now, mm. I have found like my peace in myself. I have sure. found like you know understanding myself and. Bad times used to be bad times, but I've learned how to make the journey mm -hmm. feel better, even sure. through everything. So, so to myself yeah. for just figuring out how to navigate through this industry, how to navigate through life, how to navigate mm -hmm. as a mom doing all of this. So, mm -hmm. salute to myself. For sure, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Good one, good one. What about you? I ain't gonna salute myself, although that was that was good. That was good. I, I, I want to steal it. I want to steal it, but <laughs> I'm not gonna steal it. Um, I'm gonna salute Josh my best friend josh i'm gonna give him his flowers because okay. uh that's also my manager mm -hmm. um but when i performed at the willis show by the first time he was like super excited major like just in his fan moment but he was like you ain't you you thanked everybody you ain't thank me yeah. so i need it's now it's his time so yeah. i'm giving josh his flowers he's amazing um god knew what i needed when mm -hmm. he sent me josh sure. uh all around as a friend and a manager so yeah. i'm giving him his flowers. shout out to josh now i ask this question a lot because you know when we grow with people you know what I'm saying with relationships when money come in it, you know what I'm saying it tears apart you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying but what made you lock in with Josh cuz that that's hard to trust somebody to manage your career and what you going to do to make sure that relationship stays strong when the money start coming in when you become this big artist so when i like last year at the top of the year i was like i want a team mm -hmm. but i'm going to let it form itself Mm -hmm. I'm not out looking for anybody. Like, yeah. <laughs> I want to let what naturally happens naturally happen. And so, me and Josh were just cool. We were mm -hmm. just friends. He was like, hey, maybe you should try doing something like this. Or, mm -hmm. hey, maybe you should try doing something like this. Or, you know, why don't you post like this? And it kind of just happened. Mm -hmm. So, our friendship was first mm -hmm. before the management came in. As far as, like, when money is involved, like, me and Josh are such, such twin flames. Yeah. Like, it's it. what's mine is yours. Like, how it is with Tori. So, mm -hmm. like... It, money won't change what we got going on we already have that understanding we have that bond now i feel like if it was the other way around he was my manager first and then we became friends exactly. and then it, then it gets a little bit hairy but like i don't even like he like you gonna get me out the hood i'm like we getting out the hood <laughs> together the hood. For sure, yeah. we all getting out the That's hood the goal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so um i hope that answers the question for sure, no for sure, right. for sure now tori you said something you had like three stages of life when you came on the show first you you seem like you was kind of like going through something but trying to break out mm -hmm. uh second you i smell love in the air things was getting a little bit better you know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> love was getting, you know, saying you know, I, we smelt it. You know, yeah. saying I felt like you was <laughs> starting to become, like, you know, saying a, a better version of yourself from the first time. Now I feel like everything came together, and you just this is probably the happiest you've been. Oh, I love that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so talk that. about that. Like talk about those three versions of you and yeah. how you got better from the first time I saw you until now. Um, so I would probably say so when I first came on, I was freshly out of I don't wanna say freshly, but I will say me and my son's dad mm. was very fresh not yeah. being together and that is a time stamp, not because we wasn't together, but that was the first time I had like a self reflecting moment in my mm. life. I did a lot of like going, 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 going and not self reflecting. Yeah. So when I did that at that time, it was a lot mm. because I was self reflecting about such a long time span. Yeah. So it just felt really heavy. So I figured out how to get through that. Uh, you know, we talked about therapy, we talked about, you know, journaling, we talked about all of that stuff. Mm. Um which was great for me. But I was going through that mm. while I was here. Exactly. And then the second time you said you, you I smell, smell love in the air. Smell love. Um, Music got, got better. You feel me? <laughs> the, heart, the heart started coming through instead of the pain. You feel me? So that was great. Mm. And it is still great. Mm. But that was a part of my, like, a, a big source of my happiness. Mm. I feel like now my happiness starts with myself. For sure. Mm. Past yeah. the love in the air. Past the, <laughs> I'm, I'm very sure mm -hmm. of myself. Yeah. And the things that I'm unsure about, I'm okay with. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel the pressure. I feel like I was putting a lot of pressure on myself. And when I first started doing music, I have been very spoiled. Mm -hmm. I've been spoiled to work with the best of the best. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Quest McCody. I'm going to say it every time. Oh, I'm yeah, here. for sure. Yeah, shout out. Yeah. Um, and when I started working with myself on my music, I bought my, my stuff to do my home studio. Mm -hmm. And everything was on my shoulders of doing everything myself. And I didn't realize how much pressure I was putting yeah, on myself. Yeah, it was myself. a lot. And being an engineer, <laughs> listen, yeah. I'm still learning. Yeah, you know the people, I mean? they flowers. <laughs> and to, to try to create and be an engineer at the same time. And like I said, I'm a new single mother. Mm -hmm. My son's starting school. For sure. I'm starting new positions at work. It, I was not balancing out my life right. Exactly. And I feel like now, like, I'm able to. When it's time for friends, it's time for friends. When mm -hmm. it's time to lock in, it's time to lock in. And mm -hmm. I just, I do a better job of balancing out myself and I know myself more. For sure, for I know sure. that I don't have the capacity for everything all the time. For sure. I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud Thank of you. You know what I'm saying? Thank That's what's you. up. You, you gotta grow. And especially relationship. Are you in relationship, Miss uh hmm? Christina, are you in relationship? Hmm? <laughs> you said we're talking about anything. <laughs> no, I'm single. Oh no, because I was gonna ask like no relationships. So like how do like find the right person help you evolve as a person? Like and, and for you, are you looking for somebody and making sure you look for that right one? Because you don't want no bad apple come into the shit and then yeah. fuck up your whole yeah, whole thing vibe. That, yeah what you built. So I like, mm -hmm. just talk about finding the right person with you talking about like how that person, you know what I'm saying, got you, you know, to where you at now. So I love that question. Because mm -hmm. we talked about it before. Come on now. We when said, you come on this, so I'm going to talk about real shit. I'm trying to so, tell you, we going to talk about real life. I feel like finding the right person is, it's not perfect, you feel me? We still go through our shit. We still, sure. you know, yeah. all of that. But I feel like I have found somebody who, when it's bad, you mm -hmm. don't want to be with somebody who don't know how to go through bad times with you. Like no. I said, we talked about that before. Mm -hmm. So I have learned through my relationship that, you know, it's taught me how to go through bad times with myself. Mm -hmm. And that's what I can appreciate him for. He's mm -hmm. very able to be like, I'm not selfish. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes with mm -hmm. a lot of men, it's hard to crack through that shell of like, you know what? At the end of the day, I want to be with you. So mm -hmm. even if I don't agree... Yeah. With whatever we arguing about, mm -hmm. how can we make this to where we're not arguing? Exactly. So exactly. I feel like that's helped me in my relationships, even with other people. It's mm -hmm. helped me be able to say, you know what, this is how I am. This is how I like to be treated. Mm -hmm. And that's the only capacity that I have room for. If no, you for can't sure. give me that, then. Yeah, I know. What's, see, that's why I like when Tori come on. That's why she a third time, you know what I'm saying? Because I know we're going to have some real conversation. And you ain't yeah. scared to talk. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No, I, did, I do see now that you open with this relationship. Because at first she was closed off, Q. Mm -hmm. I asked her about it. She was like, mm -hmm. I, I'm in love with myself. Like, <laughs> like, Listen, but, but, you know. But I get it. Sometimes you want to keep yeah, that to yourself. Yeah, because it was still fresh at the time. So mm -hmm. it's like now, even still, if you notice, like, social media, we're not big on, like, sharing a no. whole bunch of stuff on social media. I don't we at all. each other all the time. Like, and that, like I told you before, was new for me. Mm -hmm. Like, I have either moved in with a nigga mm. too early, spending all of our time together without having no space. And 
this is my first time being the opposite of exactly. that. So yeah, it's yeah. like, but it's okay to keep that. It's private, private, but it's not yeah. a secret. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you and that's me? that's key. Like, yeah, because yeah. I try to keep mine away from the podcast. I keep my personal and my podcast shit separate. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. So I think that, that helped the relationship. You don't want everybody in your business because, like, I remember my mom and my dad when they was going through this shit. If your mom talking stuff about. You know what I'm saying Your dad to her The family Of course the family Gonna dislike And then it changed the, yeah. whole, changed the whole And thing. y'all yeah, might get Things back else. right But they still hate you For what you did in the past Yeah for yeah. sure Yeah. Now for what sure. about you Miss Christiana You know what I'm saying You What are you looking for And are you kind of like Too hard on guys That you might be blocking Somebody like mm. yeah, Okay yeah, So yeah. <laughs> potentially um, I went through a, I had a bad Last relationship Okay um, And I do feel like That propelled me into like who i am now i don't regret it Mm -hmm. i do feel like i needed that to get me where i am Mm -hmm. um but because i went through something like that i'm very hesitant on who i like allow into my space Mm because i've worked so hard to get to this place of peace Mm -hmm. so it's like do i really want to let somebody's son come in here (laughs) and mess up what i done built brick by brick (laughs) (laughs) my producer would know where daylon came from he never watched no more Oh, I can't even tell you. I I just know from uh. Oh man, you ain't no good. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you ain't no good. But no, go ahead. My bad, my bad. Um, so that is like my apprehension. That's where my apprehension comes from. But as far as like what I'm looking for, do I feel like I'm too hard on them, men now, mm-hmm. and blocking it? I'm gonna say no mm-hmm. because the problem that I had before was I was too lenient. Yeah. So now it's like I don't feel like I'm too. I feel like I'm finding my voice. For sure. I have boundaries. Like yeah. there are just some things that I just I'm not going to um, tolerate or or accept. Mm-hmm. And it's not for me. It's never material. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. it's all. Are you emotionally sound? Are sure. you emotionally mature? Can yeah, you yeah. handle what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> exactly. Are, can you have a conversation? Can we talk about something with some substance? Like how you were saying, like mm. how Tori, that's why me and Tori vibe. Because yeah. like me and Tori can have real conversations. Until I find a man that can do that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I just. No facts. You know yeah. what I mean? What are Big we facts. What are we doing? Yeah, and you never know like who bad, who good for you until you go through it. Because I have relationships where didn't was well, the shit good happening then mm-hmm. my current relationship is like everything started happening for me i started getting coaching positions i did the podcast better job better mm-hmm. money like mm-hmm. things started coming like damn what the hell is come from yeah you know what i'm saying i don't give her all the grace but you know i yeah. give a little but bit. it's the company, <laughs> also, the company you keep i feel like both of y'all is right but one thing that i try to explain to her sometimes is like you said mm-hmm. you have to sometimes surface don't explain who a person is mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. You have to kind of get to know somebody to make that decision. You can't always base that off of that first interaction. So I do think that sometimes she could give a little bit more mm. surface level conversation. Sure. Yeah. You feel me? Like let's let's be surface. Like you, you probably won't be my man. Yeah. But you learn yourself through mm-hmm. learning mm-hmm. people. For sure. Hell yeah. Yeah, they be trying to give me the date. They be like, yeah, we do oh, they, try to, they, try to, they try to give me the date. And then so, when we go yeah. to the club, we got, oh, we got, we they, got. they hate when people touch her at the club. Please. Be like, it's loud in a month. You see, so you hate when people touch you, you said? Like, no. if they go like this. Oh, see, my, no, 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 my, no. Go, my go-to used to be, if I grab your hand and you grab back, I got you. <laughs> that used to be my go-to. I had weak game. But my thing is, if I grab that hand you grab back, like, all right, bet. She I, hates that. So, yeah, you would, you would be like, nigga, get off me. She hates that. She I, hates that yeah, I... I'm the mean friend, yeah. and I'm the mean, I'm the, I'm the mean friend in the group, and it's not, and it's not that I am upset with them for approaching me because mm-hmm. I understand why you are approaching me, mm-hmm. but but it's all about that. Let like let's think about where we at right now. Mm-hmm. We in a club. It's loud. Mm-hmm. You done had three shots. You, you don't know. You don't know where I'm at on yeah. the liquor scale right sure. now, and then you know. Men, they all, they, well, not all men, but the men that try me, <laughs> all go for the lower waist. Mm-hmm. You say hand. Yeah, hand. See, I might not have yeah. swatted you. <laughs> okay. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you went hand. Yeah, but yeah. like, lower back, no, lower waist. Yeah, it's, it's yeah just, that's a lot. Just, yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. I, I already know what your intention is. Yeah, you know we gang. I mean? We gang. That hand grab used to work a lot, though. Hey, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's I'm not, that's not, it's not bad. Yeah, and she, she made it seem like I would have just, I ain't going to lie. I probably, <laughs> 
Uh, would I have well, looked at you? We're not gonna lie on the podcast. I'm not lying. Okay. <laughs> this is, let me let me get there. Let me finish. Let me finish. Would I have looked at your hand and then looked at you like you was crazy? Yeah. Yes. But would I have immediately snatched yeah. away and been like, uh, Yeah, that's the way. No, that's I saw when you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That hand grab boy. I was like, good. I was good. Save five percent. Did it work for you? Save five percent. I'll save five percent. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It worked a little bit. Sometimes yeah. they like, get the hell off me. But then they give me a little look with that little smile, like, got you. Got you. The hand work. The hand grab work. So then you ain't got to say too much, cuz. Hey, ain't no, ain't no point of uh, uh, talking your ear. You can't hear me. We in the club. No, the, so, so let me tell you <laughs> what I think. Let talk. me tell you what I think men need to start doing. What up? You see a girl, you like her. Pull your phone out. Mm-hmm. Open your Instagram. Click the search button and just hand her the phone. Yeah. We can talk it's, tomorrow. We can talk tomorrow. Yeah. Do you know how loud it is in here? So, no, yeah. And I'm going to respect you so much more for... I like you got a plan. Mm-hmm. You came you, in here, you had it. <laughs> you the, you yeah. did it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you we got millions of people that watch this podcast. Okay. <laughs> because say it out loud. So who, who what type of guy are you looking for? I got a lot of people that's out here that's single. They might they might want to know what you're looking for, so they might a, Hey, that's that's a real loaded question. <laughs> that's a loaded question. <laughs> okay. All right, okay. I should have you know, when, when you ask me if there was anything it's like no, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this, this, this be the last relationship thing, we move on. I no, 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 we no, I'm cool with it. Um, I am looking for someone like I said, for me it's not really about the material. Mm-hmm. It's more so about the mindset mm-hmm. behind a man. So I'm looking for somebody that is mature, mm-hmm. um, somebody that knows how to communicate. Um, and somebody that can comprehend. For sure. Um, and as far as the physical goes, I prefer my man a little tall. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm trying not to get so wrapped into the physical. Mm-hmm. So I don't even want to list what I what I find attractive because I think that my type might not even be what's for me. Yeah. So yeah. I don't want to. Ca- I don't want to limit yeah. myself. Yeah. I'll cast a wide net. You know, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> uh, if you feel right like here. you fit the mold, you know. Hey, I love yeah. that for you. Yeah, for sure, I miss for Christiana. Sure. Uh, now, um, <laughs> <laughs> now I coach uh, girls and you know I coach boys too, and mm-hmm. we always have an icebreaker question as far as like, what do they hate about their basketball game? Okay. So I'm gonna ask y'all a question. What are y'all? What's something that you insecure about within yourself? You coming to me first, or Tori? You taking it? Uh, whoever. Go ahead. You ready? Yeah. Can I say two things? Go ahead. I ain't got my. Nah, then I would be like, dang, I gotta pick the pick the the worst one. <laughs> uh, my lack of eyebrows <laughs> and my and my and my small booty. Okay. <laughs> Cause the world we in a world of BBL, hey, but and that's okay because I was <laughs> we watching, in the yeah, world of BBL. I was watching an old video. I think it was like a Lloyd Banks video or something. I'm looking. At, no, Young Gunners. When they was at the college campus, and the girls just look regular. Like nowadays, you look at videos, all the girls look exactly the same. Not a like back then you fell in love. This is off the girl, you know, the looks and stuff like that. Like they Most had their style. Off her face. Mm-hmm. And that's it, really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. But go ahead. So <sighs> clearly, I. <laughs> Put on a little makeup today, but my <laughs> my eyebrows are just thin, which is cool. There ain't yeah. nothing wrong with it. But it's just like you know, Tori. Look, Tori got beautiful eyebrows. She just wake up and go. I was just like I feel like with me, <laughs> wake up and go a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for the most part, you know, wake up yeah. and go. Um, but yeah, so that's that's something. Mm-hmm. Um, but as far as my size, like me being smaller, mm. um. That was something that I had to work and like learn to appreciate. Mm. Like it's people out here that wish they could eat as much as I eat exactly, and exactly. not put on no weight. Like I eat like a man. Like <laughs> I eat. She do. Okay. No, I I do real. not hold him back. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna lie. I'm hungry right now. I told Tori I was like, we got to go get some food. Leave, as soon as we leave, we get food. Um, but so I had to learn to appreciate it. But it, I'll be honest, that's definitely something I'm still insecure about. It's just something that I know how to work. Oh, ain't like, nothing wrong with your size, girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what about, what about um, you, Tori? I would probably say physically. Mm. Well, it don't have to be. No, I'm about to say, I, would, I wouldn't probably go physical because, I mean, as women, we going to always have something that we feel like can be better. Mm. Yeah. Um, But I feel like for me, it's probably more mentally. Like, I have been through a lot relationship-wise, mm. and I feel like mentally for me to be a good person for me to be a good woman for me to be able to like block out the things that i've been through is still an insecurity mm-hmm. like i still feel like i've literally been cheated on in almost every relationship i've ever been in mm-hmm. so for me it's the fight of every day 
believing that mm -hmm. although this has happened to me this amount of times, I'm still able to, you know, love. Mm -hmm. But it's an insecurity For still. Sure. So yeah. I probably say it's more so mentally and feeling like I'm too emotional. I guess would probably be an insecurity because mm -hmm. you you get to a point of feeling like, am I oversharing? Mm -hmm. Am I like? Am I crazy for feeling like this? <laughs> yeah. Like, so I probably say it's a, more mentally for me, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Get this year a uh, a movie title for y'all. What's this year? What's it, what's been the movie title for this uh, this year for y'all? Mm. There she go. go. Okay, there I'm she like, go. There she yeah, go. that's my that's my that's my theme song. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Cause I felt like this year was the first time where I just I believed in myself mm -hmm. consistently. Whether I was doing good or bad, I have all I've been speaking into myself all year mm -hmm. like come on get yeah. up you got to we got stuff to do so sure. there she go and just showing myself like yeah like mm -hmm. you got this i think that was a quick answer i got to the movie that thing. yeah that, i ain't gonna lie <laughs> i'm glad that she went first though because it gave me some time to think about mine uh if i could give it a movie title mm -hmm. i would title it uh the independent era okay <laughs> and the reason why i say that is because this year i moved mm -hmm. And I've been like with my family my whole life, yeah. so uh, that experience alone mm -hmm. that has taken over my year. Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't like I I was living so free. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. was living so literally free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now it's different for me. Like I got big bills, real yeah. bills. <laughs> like sure. I didn't know what I didn't know what DTE looked like. Yeah. I was I was yeah. living life. <laughs> um, so you know I feel like that has changed me and as far also not even with just moving but being by myself for sure um for sure. being single uh because like before like last year i was coming out of the relationship i was like i'm actually alone right yeah. now so and i think that it's good for me mm. um but i think with moving being single yeah. having my own space for, for a change sure. to actually sit in it because you know before yeah. i was with my family it's, it's always a house like yeah. always yeah. a full house yeah. but it's different when you're really by yourself like when you really by yourself you're like oh this is what <laughs> thinking feels like <laughs> right this is just me <laughs> yeah exactly. yep. it's just me here how much of a blessing was that to have your mom and uh, your father so it was my mom and my grandparents, my grandparents. I, I, how much was a blessing that to let them you know that, to let you chill because a lot of parents be like get the fuck out Oh, put pressure on you to get the fuck out. My up. mom's in my life right now, and I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna out her. <laughs> I ain't gonna out her like that. She didn't tell me to get the fuck out, yeah. but she was basically like, if I don't help you or like show you that there is a way, you're never gonna go. Because yeah. I'm one of those people. I don't like being broke. Yeah, yeah. So I just feel like if I could stay here, save some money, yeah, yeah. <laughs> save my money, and then like <laughs> with <laughs> with music. Being an artist, oh yeah, it costs a lot. You know how expensive that is. Come on now, I don't think people know how expensive that is. That's why I stopped. I don't think I was that good either, but you're like it wasn't going to give me anything back. Cost too much. But yeah, it's just I I had more freedom, and honestly, if I could talk about like the how it lined up for me, like my birthday is at the top of year on January 29th. Big Aquarius in the building, just gang 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 Aquarius in the building. Um, and my mom. Like we re arranged for me to move. Like I found that out. Like that was my Valentine's Day gift. Mm -hmm. Like I got, I got you set up. Um, but in January I dropped my album and oh, yeah. I had like a release party. And I did so, all this yeah. stuff. Elevate. Oh, yeah, stream there elevate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but all that came out of my pocket. Okay. So had album, this moving. had this happened had I moved beforehand, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have been able to go big like that exactly. for that birthday. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I just feel like. Everything happened the way that it was supposed to, mm -hmm. and now I'm, you know, independent. I'm, I'm feeling it out. But yeah. it was a blessing to nope. live free. Like, I have a great family and a great support system. So, my house is that house is full of love. They, my grandma was telling me like, your room still your room. Yeah, no, yeah. Sure. you can always come yeah. back. Yeah, cause we were talking about that with other cultures. You know, they they keep their kids in the crib yeah they don't, until they, they don't force them out. Like, or yeah. they marry one or two like yeah mm -hmm. you can stay here as long as you need you no, know what i'm facts. saying with us we always parents hey when you're 18 gotta go yeah you're 21 like you know yeah. what i'm saying put pressure on you to leave when they hey chill as long as you can because we yeah. don't want you to go out there and be messed up right you know facts. what i'm saying so shout mm -hmm. out to the parents that uh you know i got a son about to be 18 and don't he, kick him out. He can chill. He can yeah. chill for a little bit don't kick him out. <laughs> yeah don't he can chill him for out. a little bit no, don't kick him out don't kick him out <laughs> now i'm at um at tory sky mm. She put out a remix and then put me on there. Talk that talk. <laughs> I'm supposed to be on that song. I wasn't you know on it either. You, know <laughs> you are not mad at me. No, but talk about the song, the success. I feel like it was one. Of, it was like the perfect song to you know be with your lady or your man. You know, what I'm saying it just it just 
it feels some type of way. I, I like, I love the song. So talk about the song, uh, what came after, and when we gonna get some new damn music, man. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. That's I'm, what he really. That's really what he wanted to say. That's what he meant. I be on the inbox all the time, like dog. What's up? So dog? are you gonna drop something? Um. So summer night again. I think I was about to drop it mm-hmm. when I came on here last. Mm-hmm. Um, Summer Night is my baby. That mm-hmm. is that's something that I I really believe in. Mm-hmm. Um, even though I dropped it last year, I am working on some things to keep the traction of it going. Mm-hmm. Working on a new rollout for it, um, because I think that that's the song that is going to help me go to the next caliber. Mm-hmm. Um, so that love the song. Mm-hmm. The remix. Um, that's actually the first remix that I have made as an artist. Um, and I'm like. I want to do a remix, and my intention was actually I was going to drop a three pack mm-hmm. of different people on the song. Okay, that went dope. Um, me, um, <laughs> <laughs> then me, like, right, me, um, me, you. you know, you still missed out on one person. Mm-hmm. Um, so <laughs> coming to that idea, her and I actually was on the phone, and I'm like, I want to do a remix, but I don't know how to do it, mm-hmm. blah, blah blah blah. And the three people that I reached out to. They was like, okay, cool. We're going to do the three pack. And after I heard all of their versions, two of them made the song sound like just a continuation. Okay. okay. So we came up with the idea of let's just make it one song. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and to have Asaka and Nico on a song with me. It's like I had my first. I hate you about coming on the show too. Yeah. Come on, Asaka. <laughs> We're not going to do this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, to have both of those artists because. I look up to them. They, they are very mm-hmm. motivational. They are very... If people could give you a blueprint of mm-hmm. how to do what you do and be genuine and have genuine support, I think them two out of the city are yes. great examples. Mm-hmm. Um, so to have them not only love the original song, but want to be on the really? remix, um, man, it just mm-hmm. made the song so much more of a vibe. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? Um, still love the original, but definitely. So... That transpired and going into making a song like that is very intimidating. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, I rolled out the original Summer Night, then I got this great remix. So when you ask about new music, mm-hmm. I feel like I have figured out the sound that I love to hear on myself. Do you feel like it's pressure coming from a song that was so great and everybody loved it? Do you feel like it's pressure to repeat that? Um, no. Because mm-hmm. I think that everybody else will almost accept anything from me as long as i sound good Mm -hmm. um but for myself i just have such a high expectation of myself Mm -hmm. where it's like if the quality is not that i'm not putting it out not because i don't believe in myself not because creativity is you know Mm -hmm. but i know what i want people to feel when they hear me Mm -hmm. and if i feel like what i'm doing is not that then i just keep it going so i definitely i got a couple songs that i know for sure yeah yeah, they, they, they gonna be the one. Yeah, love, they gonna be the one. Voice. Do y'all put pressure on yourself? Like so much pressure that y'all don't release music? Yes. Uh, no, nah, no. Nah, <laughs> look, she. I got. She on I a different. Know she you on do. a different wave. Yeah. <laughs> Me. Um, when I released my first EP, like in 2017, it was so good not to my own horn but it was good <laughs> track after track. It was good, and people kept, and I was getting that feedback from everybody. Mm. Um, and I was like, dang, like. What my next project gonna yeah, sound like? Like yeah, I, exactly. I always trying to top myself is my thing. Yeah. Like like how she was saying, like I know that if I put something out and it sound good, mm. they ain't crying on. They gonna rock with it. For but sure. for for me, I'm putting the pressure on. I was like, if I release a project like with the album, mm. I got um one of my friends, LJ. <laughs> He's like, where's the new music at? Yeah, like yeah, where's yeah, the new? Yeah. But for me, it's like okay. How am I top that though? You exactly. know what I'm saying? Because I, 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 I was able to top the EP. It took me a while. I was able to top the EP. It took me a real <laughs> it took long a time. Years. It took me a years. <laughs> but I had to find myself and find my tribe and find my people. Once I found my people, it was, it was easy to do. But the people that's asking me for new music mm-hmm. right now, I'm like, y'all got it. Do you know you how long it took album. me? Yeah. Play them, play them twenty yeah. tracks. But do y'all afraid? Are y'all afraid like to get lost? Like because you don't drop because we know in the, in the era now that you got to be in somebody's face all the time with social media. Like somebody dropping every single day. With me with this podcast, I went two weeks and I feel like I ain't did enough. This is the mm-hmm. longest break I probably so, took in a while. I feel like it depends on your end goal. Yeah, feel me. And I think a lot of people feel like. 
because I do music, social media's way is the only way. Mm -hmm. And if you know your end goal, like for me, I love posting on social media. I love sharing my art with people. But I've recently come to the conclusion of my end goal is soundtracks. Okay. My end goal is movies. Mm -hmm. My end goal is to... I'm that girl that if I got to sit in a cafe mm. to sing to people, for them to people to be my so, fans, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. okay with that. Yeah. Social media is where the pressure comes from. And yeah, that right. was too much True. pressure for me. Mm -hmm. I do it on my own time. I don't feel, you know, because my goal, honestly, is not to be famous. Yeah. My goal is to be able to be stable. Mm -hmm. You feel me? If, that, sure. if that's what I can receive from music, mm -hmm. great. But that, again, was too much pressure. Like, mm -hmm. when I take away from me enjoying what I do and I make it about so many other mm -hmm. things, I start to not enjoy what I do. Okay. So, yeah, no. Sure. And so, before, I would drop music with the intention of, I'm trying to, yeah. I'm trying to keep up, I'm yeah. trying to keep up. Mm -hmm. But when you stop trying to keep up with this social media <laughs> and everybody else, and everybody like, else. you get to enjoy and that's what the, you're doing. That's the problem I think we have as creators. Like, you put too much, so much pressure on, I want to get signed, I want to get big, I want to yeah. be seen, that if it don't happen in a certain amount of time, you feel like you a failure. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But just being consistent is that's success. Yeah, right consistency there. is everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, be be okay. Don't be trash and, and, and consistent. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? I for the people that's trash and consistent, you'd be surprised. Like they can still do they, it. They, they still do it. Yeah. It be I'm I'm so serious. It's people that are and no offense. It's some people that are not talented. Mm -hmm. That's getting there. Yeah. Oh yeah. We and they it. getting yeah. there because they believe in themselves exactly. and they they they're consistent. So much that they, they got they to change your They opinion. have <laughs> manifested my dream. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now your friendship did it come through music? Yes. Yeah. Talk about like did y'all like dislike each other at first, like each other at first. You know, sometimes you can get cool with somebody who you thought was a We were in a competition. Yeah, we was in a competition actually. And it and was, we was between going us. battle. It was yeah, between it was me and her. Yeah. I was on everybody account voting. I'm like, come on, I need to win. I need to <laughs> win. I need this free studio time. Free studio time is hard to come by. Yeah. yeah. I needed it bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so Sam Watson, uh our engineer, my engineer, you know, mm -hmm. she she be engineering herself these days, so <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Sam was hosting a competition mm -hmm. and you would I, like whoever voted would well, got like what two free hours of yeah. studio time? And Sam is ninety dollars an hour. Yeah. I needed that. Expensive, yeah. So with that being said, uh we were in a competition together and it boiled down to being just like me and her really going mm -hmm. at it. And then did I win? I think you did. I did. I think yeah. I won. You like, say that. That's all. Yeah, she did win. No, she <laughs> won. As she, as she should have. Yeah, yeah I, I did. I won. I won the next um, one. But yeah. she won the next one. <laughs> okay. And, it, and it, either way, like, I don't think, no matter who won, Sam ended up putting us in a, a group chat together and mm -hmm. wanted us all to link so we could write and vibe. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, I mean, she seemed pretty cool. And then... You want to tell the rest of the story? Because, like, no, when did... you are doing great. Oh, I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> okay. Right. I'll, I'll chime in at the end. <laughs> okay. And so, <laughs> we did the competition. We got in the group chat with one another. And then, somehow, me and her ended up getting on the phone. Like, mm -hmm. with just us. And I think I, I saw you at one of the Asaka's events. Yeah. That's when we, we saw each other at Asaka's event first. And I don't know about y'all, but, like, I like the buddy system when I go out. And so, <laughs> she was like, are you going to this? And I'm like, girl, oh, I don't know. Like, yeah. <laughs> you, you going? Because going? Going. if you go, I go. And this is before, like, we even really got cool. Sure. But, like, yeah. if you go, I go. And so, I saw her there. And we vibed. You know, we stuck to each other. You know, we on the buddy system for the night. But then, after that, me and her ended up getting on the phone, like, Ooh. a couple days later. And when I say we talk, yeah. listen, gotta be cool every since. This, listen, this is, you know how friendships, some of them are like, um, all right, I work with you. So mm. because we have to so stay here with each other, mm -hmm. it's forced. Yeah. Our friendship came so organically. Yes, like it, it was, we literally wanted to be around each other. Mm -hmm. It was a choice. Mm. Um, so our friendship now, like to look at what a competition did, to where we are now like this okay. is genuinely one of my best friends yeah. um and we support each other and motivate each other through everything like yes. our our friendship is so much bigger than music yeah like <laughs> music is like probably it's, it's, it, it's, it trickles it's down really on, to i'm not music. gonna say it's on a back burner but like me and tori and i don't even have any collabs mm -hmm. right yet it's yeah. coming but like our friendship is so our friendship mm -hmm. that i don't even think that it's not i feel a, like I don't know. Like I feel like 
we collab so much on what we do individually mm-hmm. that it, I don't I don't feel like it's missing yet. Like yeah. when it's when it'll happen, it'll happen. But like even like how she was talking about with the summer night remix. Mm-hmm. I f- I'm not gonna say I feel like that's my remix, yeah. but I no, feel she, like that's my remix. Up, she came up with the whole idea of who should be on it and and all of that. So and even my summer night rollout, she recorded all of my visuals. Mm-hmm. Um and same thing for her. Like yes. whatever we need behind the scene, we more of a behind the scene type friendship okay. when mm-hmm. it comes to music. When she perform, oh listen, oh yeah. Tori got the camera. <laughs> I'm gonna have the or camera. Tori's in the chair. Yeah. Whatever, <laughs> whatever, yeah, need. Tori's whatever there. you need. Whatever you need. So yeah, I feel like that. And now, at that point in time, the mutual friendship was Asaka and Sam. Yes. And now, we have both. It's family now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the 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 family has just only gotten bigger and now yeah. it has extended. Um, and now we just, we, we all a family. Yeah. That's and dope. We, yeah. we tried. That's dope, yeah. Y'all my cousins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when, did y- when did y'all fall, what made y'all fall in love with music? Was it somebody that y'all heard? Was it an album? Was it y'all mom playing music? What made y'all fall in love with music? I feel like, and I, I use the term a vibe a lot, mm-hmm. um, but that's just because that's what I am. Right. Um, <laughs> okay. but I know that's right. I feel like I fell in love with music my whole life, mm-hmm. like uh, mm-hmm. in different stages. And For of sure. course, being a 90s baby, it only helps you fall in love with the music yes. even more. Yes. Yes. Um, best songs, best songs. So just just the vibe, man. Yeah. Like anything that has a vibe, anything that makes you feel something. Mm. Um, and I, I've learned recently that, you know, because remember I told you I was having a hard time writing mm. at a certain point in time. Mm-hmm. Anything that is not genuine for me, like I don't make music for people who are not looking to feel a vibe or mm-hmm. not looking to heal through something, who are not looking to better themselves. Like my music are for people that desire something from music, yes. not just looking for the no talent, mm-hmm. but consistent. So right. if you want to hear me and you want something from me, mm-hmm. I'm giving it to you because I got to a certain point where it's like, I love this vibe. I love this energy, and I want to share it. No, 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 no. For <laughs> me, um, <clears throat> like I started singing in the church, mm. <laughs> and I'm I'm laughing at that because my friends seem to find that so hard to believe with the type of music I make right now for you because okay. one time this guy was introduced to her and shout out to Willis Showbar yes. shout out to Tommy. um I Heart, shout out to Tommy and Najee I hope I mm-hmm. said that right yeah um he was like you know we want to introduce Miss Christiana mm-hmm. da 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 and she's a church going something <laughs> he said no he said she came she came up in the church and so like <laughs> I got it on video. Yeah. My friends recorded me about to come on stage with so far. He introduced me and said she ca- she grew up in a church. <laughs> on the on the video, they like church. <laughs> he said, Duh. "Who are you talking about?" I'm like, how Somebody is that so hard to believe? Duh. Yes. So um so I did grow up in the church. Yeah. I did believe youth choir. Believe it or not, yeah. I know what type of music I make now. Um, but I grew up in the church, so yeah. I had that foundation i knew what music could do and like i don't know with the right song i don't know if y'all know the church go up with the right no, with the no, right no, so sure. i oh i knew that music had a power to do something mm-hmm. and so i wanted once i heard it you know go, coming through that and then growing up and then being a teenager and going through i wanted to be able to say something mm-hmm. with my mu- music i wanted to be able to deliver a message with what i'm saying mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so you know like i was there earlier in a relationship like i want to be able to communicate i use my music as a way yeah, to communicate with sure. everybody mm-hmm. and like my goal is more so to be heard versus mm-hmm. to be famous i want to i want somebody that feel like how i feel to hear to this feel song better. and be like you yeah. know what yeah. well, what's that what's that album for y'all that stick out though like like damn i, I love this album this make me love you know saying what i do as far as uh, r&b what's that album for y'all for me it's 400 degrees Elevate. Elevate. Period. Oh, Elevate. Yeah. oh yeah. I love that for you. <laughs> Make sure y'all stream that. Stream that. Um, <laughs> for me, I would probably say I want to say the name of the album right. Drunk words, sober thoughts mm-hmm. by Seven Streeter. Okay. Mm. Um, I feel like she did a really good job of expressing herself, mm. but making the vibe still feel upbeat. And that's a very hard thing to do when you're mm. trying to. Let's say I go through some difficult shit mm. and I'm just not feeling it. And then I try to sit in front of the booth and record something. 
it can feel heavy and your music can bring people down. Mm. So learning the ability to take a bad moment and still not bring people down with you yeah. is a very hard thing to do. And I think she does a really good job of we going to say some shit, mm -hmm. but that's mm -hmm. the title of the album. For Drunk sure. words, sober thoughts. So mm -hmm. it's like, we gonna, we going to, I'm going to give you yeah. the raw, but I'm going to make it sound peaceful and I'm going to make it sound mm -hmm. like you want to listen to this again. For mm -hmm. sure, for sure. Now we're going to go back and forth between music and real life shit. Okay. So I got this new thing that I never did with nobody. Y'all going to be the first ones. It's a, segment called, uh, it's a segment called Can You. So you can, you can elaborate. You say yes or no. You can elaborate on it however you want to do it. Okay. So everything going to start with Can You. Can you forgive someone for cheating? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The, talk about talk about it. the type of cheating. Um, you know, because I, so, I can't forget about uh, if you have sex. It depends. <laughs> it. Thank you. Shot. Um. It depends on. You have to know somebody's intention with you. Mm -hmm. Like, if I know for a fact that your intention is to be a good person mm -hmm. and to you know whatever. Mm -hmm. with, this life is a difficult life, and yes, honestly, is. bitch is not shit. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> In real life, it may sound crazy, but it really is people out there with the intention of messing up a relationship. You mm -hmm. feel me? For sure. And sometimes it can be hard for a man to not go into that temptation. Yeah. Um. But well, trust me, it's again, hard. It, it goes <laughs> it goes into your intention with me. What yeah. is your intention with me? And we're not about to keep having this conversation mm -hmm. either. Mm -hmm. So when you say, "Can yep. you forgive?" I can. I can forgive. <laughs> The first time, yeah. but can you forget? The, yeah, cause see, the question no. was the. I, I let's let's get forget into the, let's get into happen. the context because you said. My, hold on, my, before you answer, oh. my thing is I say, can you forget? Because you can forgive someone and the relationship stay stay going, but it could be miserable for the guy because whenever he do something, now you're gonna be remembering that you know what he did. Mm -hmm. He gonna watch the game with his homies. You might think he going back to Keisha crib. That's why I say, can you but forget? That so that that depends on again. It depends on his intention. Mm -hmm. So. If you know that you have wronged me, you know that you have mm -hmm. done these things to me, before you go to the game to watch with your homeboy, mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. you have to do to give me reassurance that you mm -hmm. own some good shit mm -hmm. and, hey, I made it. Yep. Hey, I'm mm -hmm. on my way. And that mm -hmm. don't mean that I'm your yep. mama. That don't mean nothing. No, but for your, sure. your intention is to, you did what you did. To get that it's trust your intention back. Yep. to make me feel better and to make me not feel like that. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, if you don't give a fuck, <laughs> I, okay. we got to get, we got to let this go. Okay. You know? So, all right, what was you gonna say? I'm sorry. I was I, I, no, I was gonna say. See, that what the question that you asked was, can you forgive? Mm. You didn't say is <laughs> you gonna forget? stay. Yeah. You didn't say. You didn't. You didn't. You see, yeah. You can. Can you forgive? I can definitely forgive you for cheating for sure. Mm -hmm. Am I gonna stick beside you? Yeah. Like she said, if, I, honestly, it really depends on the intentions. But for me, like where I'm at and like stuff I've been through, I feel like black women feel like. It's hard to get it, to find love without struggling. Like, mm -hmm. it, is is cheating really an obstacle that I gotta stick beside you for? Mm -hmm. Like, that ain't that ain't like you losing your job and you you needing some help. You know that that's that that's not like you breaking your leg or and you needing me to help you get to the yeah. car. Like, this is this is this really an obstacle? Like, I I don't, I don't I hate to bring this up, but like. Y'all see Kirk and Rashida? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't watch I can't be no Rashida. Yeah, you know she, what I'm saying? Yeah. She like, be tripping. I be wondering, is that real just for the show? Because, like, come on it, now. Like, at this point, it almost feels like it's for the show. Because like, <laughs> there's no way. They're business partners. There's no That's way. Yeah. No way. For sure, for sure. She got some money. Somebody yeah. paying her to yeah. go through that. Cause. <laughs> They're no, I genuinely think this is just a business partnership at this point. Yeah. I, I don't think that they are. Um, but it's like, don't embarrass me. Yeah. Like, but you like, know, how many times can you get embarrassed on TV? <laughs> I don't think she embarrassed. I, I saw a TikTok and I'm gonna let, then I'm gonna let it go because I've been wanting to talk about this. So I, I mean, <laughs> and me and you were supposed to talk about this. I seen a TikTok and this guy said, I've been watching Rashida get cheated on by Kirk since I was in middle school. <laughs> yeah. No sure. facts. And I thought about it. The last thing that came out, I'm like, wow, TikTok? I was this age when. Yeah. yeah. Damn. And she ain't put no music out. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can put it on and make them want to marry me. She can have a thousand hits. Man. Her and man. Summer Walker could. She could at least talk about what she got sure. going on. Yeah. No. <laughs> All back. right. My next one. Can can you get back with an ex? <laughs> Hell mm. no. <laughs> no. 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 Sing, friend. <laughs> um. And again, we're Aquarius, so I feel like maybe I can answer this for the both of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once I'm good on you, I'm really because I'm a, I'm not the type of person to give up just because. Mm, so right. if I get to the point where I'm really done, mm. 
you don't even want to be with me because I'm not thinking about you or considering you. And once I lose consideration mm-hmm. for you, mm-hmm. you I'm I'm nothing to 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 enjoy. So Damn. let's let's bow out. Yeah. And I do listen. Think- it's been a lot of people who have come back and said, "Oh, I'm so sorry, Tori. Mm-hmm. You were so I just wasn't ready. Yeah. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I sure. appreciate that. I yeah, appreciate yeah. your apology." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, yeah, yeah. next, next, next. Yeah. That's like the song you got. What, right, one, wrong time? Yes. Yeah, I know. I, come on, man. Look, I do my shabby, own. Come on. <laughs> okay. I do feel that it depends on what type of relationship y'all had mm-hmm. beforehand. Why are y'all exes now? Did y'all mutually agree to split? Uh, was I fed? Am I fed up to the point where? Because like she said, once I fed up, it's done. It wasn't one of them situations. Mm-hmm. Like I do think that it depends. Um, because people grow, mm-hmm. people evolve, people change, but. It needs to be. I ain't. I ain't seen you. Heard from you and like. Not you. said. Not last year's ex. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Get somebody no, no. else to do get it. Get somebody else to yeah, do yeah, it. Please get sure. somebody else to do it. Sure. All right. Can Can you be with a guy that made less than you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. I said it's yeah. not about the material. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Because it's somebody. Like, that, it's some people out here that make less than you that are split more than what they got you know what i'm saying yeah. it's the people out here that make that make more than me that will only give me two dollars <laughs> it's the people that make less than me that'll give me half of for their sure. salary no, yeah for sure, no, for, sure. For, sure. for sure can you uh can you keep it real when you hear trash music can you tell the person their music is trash oh, oh you gonna lie oh uh depends on if they <laughs> what are you asking Man. it depends like if your intention is to hey i want to show you a song mm-hmm. and that's all you want to do mm-hmm. is show me a song mm-hmm. I'm gonna find one good thing to say. Yeah, it's always, gonna, it's always you, gonna be a beat too. That was a good go, beat. Yeah, you know. But <laughs> yes. if if you're asking for my opinion, mm-hmm, I'm mm-hmm. going to give it because I have been in a seat of receiving opinion when mm-hmm. I didn't want to. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when you let's say you own your rough draft of a song mm-hmm. and you're not even done yet, to receive those opinions sometimes when you haven't got the whole it thing out, it, it starts to discourage your, yeah. your song. So I've learned to not do that. I don't right. show people stuff until I have my finished product product mm-hmm. and I believe in it so much mm. that whatever they say is not going to mm-hmm. take me away from loving what I what I right, do. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you, did you answer it? Same answer. Oh yeah, you said. Okay. Same answer, okay. Same answer but I'm gonna I'm gonna add oh, a little bit more razzle dazzle. I did yeah, no, see I said I was gonna lie straight <laughs> up. She 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 put <laughs> some razzle dazzle on it. No, but for me, what I'm going to do because like she said, because I'm an artist, mm. I know how it is. I know how sensitive people are about they, mm. you know, their music and their crap and what they don't work so hard on. Mm. So for me, I'm going to always sandwich affect it. You know, my my nine to five, I do like customer service and tech support. My my job is to fix it. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to give you. I'm going to sandwich it. I'm going to give you something good. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you something that you can work on and I'm going to follow it up with something something good. <laughs> sure. You know what? The beat is amazing. It's you always feel the like beat. the lyrics can use a little bit more work, but you you really deliver. It yeah. sounds so great. Sure. I'm a sandwich it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they're not going to even realize that I told them that the music was trash. Yeah. By the time I get done talking, they're going to be like... Work on the lyrics, beat is great, is actually the beat, oh, They feel it's they feel good. empowered <laughs> by yeah. the time I'm now, done. I told this story <laughs> countless of times, but I had somebody call me and leave, leave a voicemail and tell me how trash my music was. Back in the day, we used to. When I first started rapping, I was terrible, and mm-hmm. we used to put our email and phone number on the CD. And he called me. <laughs> oh, oh no! Nah. I, I woke up, had a good night. You know, I like, woke up, uh, and that's the voicemail. Nigga, this shit trash. Wow. Like, hey, and you know what I would have did? I kept going. <laughs> I would have kept going, and I would have used that as an intro. Yeah, I wish I would have. Damn. I, yeah, but see, this back. This is a long time ago. I'm older than y'all. So it so. wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't yeah, that, that yeah, easy to just put yeah, a voicemail yeah, on yeah, the track. Yeah. So I'm 38, so you know, it was like <laughs> oh, 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 06, So it was like <laughs> it was too much. Uh, can you let go of music? No, no, no. Okay. And I, mm. I, I know that for a fact. Had you asked me that before, all the things that I've been through mm-hmm. and all these different phases, um, I went through depression when mm. I was unable to write. I went through depression when mm-hmm. I didn't have confidence in myself as an artist. And I love that I went through that because it let me know that I don't do this mm. for fun. It's really something that I enjoy to do. It's really some. It's my therapy. For sure. Um. So no. Even if I don't put out music, I feel like I will always do music. Okay. Yeah. So for me, the answer is the same. Um, I but I'll put music down as a career. Mm-hmm. But it's there, like like she said, it's therapy for me. So whether I put it out, whether I'm trying to get some followers from it, now that I can let that go. Um, but I'm always gonna have to write because that's the only way that I that's the only way I can communicate for myself, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. and be able to figure out how I actually feel. Yeah. So yeah. I can't. No, I can't give it up. Yeah. Can you be successful away from music? Yes. 
For sure. Let me tell you something. Multi talented. <laughs> Y'all about to start eating some of my food soon. So okay. Hey, I told tuned. you that much. That was looking good. Stay tuned. You, Listen, don't be I'm posting big. I hate that. My I'll goal, be hungry. And, okay. and I'm not going to say don't like. put out <laughs> all out of, you know, your goals and your aspirations. Mm -hmm. But wholeheartedly, I, I feel like. Music is going to help me get somewhere else. Yeah. So, um, my my end goal is to have a venue where I have a restaurant mm. and I have a place for people who do music to come and have a safe place. That's yeah. my end goal. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Can you make love listen to your own music? No. Mm -mm. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, no, did. I did it. <laughs> I did it. Yeah. Why did you about to say that? Like? I ain't worked this hard in the booth for nothing. <laughs> Play the track. Yeah. Play the track. Nah, I'm fun. good. I'm good. Ready and waiting. <laughs> but song. we make different music though. Like, yeah, her music could is. Could I? Could I do it to Summer Night? I mean, sure, mm -hmm. I would. I would yeah. turn it off. Yeah. But like, it, Summer Night is the prelude. That's what. Yeah, yeah. like exactly. Yeah, sure. That's, that's the way. That's like that's a way that to the prelude. Yeah, 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 you got your little buzz on. But, but during, I just. Yeah, my music is a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. she got that. Yeah. Ready and waiting. Yeah. Hey, okay. can um can you fall in love without being attracted to someone for their looks? I think people can do it. Yeah, I'm gonna say <laughs> maybe it's somebody else, but uh, yeah, I think people can mm -hmm. do it. Yeah, and that's like you don't have to be like the most most attractive, mm -hmm. but they say love will come. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand how that works. Yeah. So no. Okay. I can't do it. I'm sorry. No. For sure, for sure. Can you love yourself when you feel nobody else love you? Yes. Yeah, for sure. And we do a good job of, we probably go to each other mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, girl, I'm having a horrible week. I yeah. hate myself today. Um, And speak life to each other. So, yeah. Now, this, now this is the big one. Can oh. you listen? Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Don't do that. That, I'm was, saying. that was a shot at women. No, okay. I'm saying. It was. I, I, I peeped the and shade. Look, and, I'm, and I'm smiling I because. I peeped the shade. <laughs> Well, yeah, two different people here, but <laughs> what you trying to say? You do good listening. I'm getting yeah. better. Yeah, but I, it depends. I can listen when I feel like somebody's listening to me. For sure. But it, when I feel like I'm not getting that listen back, then fuck what you talking about. It's the delivery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the delivery. Yeah. I can hear everything when it sound nice. Yeah. But if the tone is off that's why i said earlier they're sandwich method, method you know what i'm saying <laughs> sandwich method me like yeah, exactly. give me something good then give me my constructive no, i'm gonna use it i'm gonna steal it yeah yeah dude. Well, well, that's that's your argument. Yeah. watch your life change for sure i'm gonna yeah. do it i'm gonna do it <laughs> y'all yeah. already listened to him he told me the most like the best advice i ever received was sometimes you gotta let people win even if you want yeah. yes you gotta make them feel yeah. good like you know what yeah. you're right because they, they don't know how i react like what i'm right like yeah, yeah no, you're facts. right nigga yeah that's big facts <laughs> Because yep. I remember I was about to get to my cousin because I wasn't, you know, saying helping her out with something. And she was like, Why you didn't do this? I'm like, You know what? I was wrong for that. And she was like, uh, It was like, it was like, a That pause. helped the rest of the conversation. Exactly. Taking accountability will You don't, you don't, will you don't have you. your guard up. You don't feel yeah. like you've got to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. You feel like, You know what? Maybe, maybe you're right. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. not right. Sure. You're right. Because yeah. people aren't used to. People aren't used to having that easy. You mm -hmm. know what I'm they're used to a lot of combative people, they used they're ready to go to I'm That's ready to argue to with you. Yeah. You know, I want to I dare you to tell me that I'm wrong because I got I got three reasons why I'm right. Exactly. When you dismantle the three reasons, mm -hmm. like by saying, you know what? You're yeah. right. Like, people that don't ever get yeah, that like what they're no, like the, the audacity they about, and, and they're gonna turn around and apologize to you for even being exactly. upset in the first place they're exactly. like you know what yeah yep, 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 you, yep. i'm sorry i shouldn't even oh, this is my last um, one for can you and this is going straight to you mm. can you start the podcast oh we should we, matter of fact, we should do one I, we should do one together we should just go ahead all three of us hey we, i'm down I feel like the we tried it the conversation is going okay yeah. so can I start the podcast? Yeah, we we can go once a month. Just start off. Can we I'm do down. that? Can yeah, we? Yeah, let's let's do that. that. Let's do that. Sure. All I'm right, excited. cool. So <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna name the segment and boom. Let's put no put the date on the calendar before we leave. Yeah, before we leave, we're gonna <laughs> because we're gonna you already know how this so, schedule can but get. But to to answer your question, um, yeah, I I I, I really do want to. We have started a little <laughs> segment and mm -hmm. we recorded ourselves having conversation for like an hour. We posted a little bit of stuff on Instagram. We got a lot of responses. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people asking for us to, to have a podcast. Mm -hmm. I think me and her are very like, we're just very particular with what we like to talk about. But mm -hmm. when we start talking, we talk too much. For sure. So when we went through the stuff, <laughs> we was like, we like, 
Ooh. Yeah, too we much. Can't we, can't we can't put that. that. But I would I really would love to collab with you yeah, because I think you're you are, you, you're a great podcast host. You know mm-hmm. what questions to ask, you know Good questions. about the people that you have on thank here. You, thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, I love so, that for y'all. Yeah. I love that for y'all. Yeah, no, we, we <laughs> love you. We love you. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Now I want to um get on you, you real quick, Miss uh uh Christiana. Okay. You dropped uh Elevate in January. I guess that was on your birthday, we found out. Yeah, January twenty ninth, big Aquarius and Talk about that and do you feel like it got the love it deserved? Or you feel like it's still, you know, still So the, the album is still a baby. And I I'm never gonna say that it did not get the love that it deserved. I feel like I need to do right mm-hmm. and stick beside it more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um but when I first put it out, like I received a lot of love mm-hmm. and I think the album is good and I feel like people appreciate it, but I need to remind the people of it. Mm. Cause see, because those songs are old to me. Mm. Cause I was working on them before y'all heard them. For sure, and yeah. I saw it. Yeah, they're old. So I'm ready. I'm ready to like shake it up, which stream the new single, shake it up, by the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm ready to like do new things. Mm. Um, but I have to remember that the album is a baby. For sure. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a lot of songs on there that still, that I have ideas for. I ain't put out a music video. Yeah. So I gotta do that. Um, but I do think that it received the love that it deserved. I just think now it's on me to remind exactly. people for it. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you feel like I, I feel like well, our artists they don't promote enough. Yeah, I feel like when it first come out, you may go heavy for like a couple weeks, and then you kind of like die, it died down a little bit. Mm-hmm. You feel like you did that, like kind of like I. I I yeah. went harder than a couple of weeks. Okay. I feel like I went harder than a couple of weeks. Like yeah, I was, I was definitely, and I, I still like promote it. I just don't promote it heavily, mm-hmm. like how I should. Like mm-hmm. that's the thing. Mm-hmm. I think that I went hard for like the first three, four months. Yeah. <laughs> and then after that, it was kind of like, and I'm not talking like consecutively posting every day for the album, but mm-hmm. I feel like I was like stream elevate, stream mm-hmm. elevate. You for know. Sure. I don't yeah. fell off, y'all. I don't fell off. I feel like <laughs> I have, I've, I've learned that um, a lot of times on social media, it can feel like you're being irritating. Going, mm-hmm. all right, they mm-hmm. already heard this. I posted this video yesterday. Um, and one thing that I have learned from my boyfriend is, man. Oh, 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 oh. what you say? Huh? <laughs> She said it, dog. She I said did. it. Like, we go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We, um, got, we got to get dog on show too. He yes. does, he, he does um, something that I have learned from him <laughs> is like. It's okay to do the same thing over and over again mm-hmm. in a For different sure. way. And mm-hmm. um, just watching that progression and being close to the progression, um, yeah. it only reminds me. Like, And that's why I feel like I probably don't feel the pressure of, of everything mm-hmm. because I know that my music is good. I know that I have a vibe. It's just all For about sure. how I put it out there to the world. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Hell yeah. Now, we're going to give our three top songs from... Your, your your project. My 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 three favorite songs on your project is uh right one wrong time. Okay. Cut you loose and nobody else. Really? I, I like that you mm-hmm. said nobody else. Oh, I know good music. <laughs> Come on now. My favorite off the album is okay. Mhm. Ready and waiting. Mhm. And um tequila blues. No. Don Pat yeah, 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 yeah. Tear mine up. Can I tell you my video idea for that? Not yet. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> You're right. No, I'm not gonna tell they, they people. No, they can't know that. I'm gonna tell you when we get in the car. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm gonna tell you when we get in the car. Yeah. Uh, my three favorites. Mm-hmm. I wrote. The, I wrote the, the whole thing. I like them all. <laughs> okay. No. So that's hard. I feel like you know how you got kids mm-hmm. and you ain't supposed to pick y- your favorite, favorite one, child. But you got one. Yeah. <laughs> I, no. No. Okay. So. Everybody got. So for kids. me, I'm <laughs> going to say I'm going to say ready and waiting because that was my baby. That's mm-hmm. how we started here. Okay. <sighs> it's tough. Yeah. Is this is tough. Okay. I'm gonna I'm go with the. I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go ready and waiting. Mm-hmm. I'm going fresh meat. Okay. And I'm going who? Okay. Oh, sorry. That's. No, no. No, no, no. You're fine. You're fine. Um, no, I'm saying sorry to myself. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> those are my favorite because so like for who, I didn't anticipate who being what it was. Mm-hmm. I thought who was a good song. The backgrounds go crazy, yeah. but I didn't expect it to be a it crowd, to be my a crowd, crowd song. Yeah. Like people was eating ready and waiting up, and to go from something so sensual to mm-hmm. like, like who is you talking to? Like <laughs> it's that's a hard like transition to make. Um, okay. so that that's why who got my heart for sure and fresh me. Yeah. Let's talk about Fresh it. Fresh meat, pause. Let's talk about it. Pause. <laughs> pause. So, 
you know, I didn't realize that how raunchy it sounded when I named it. Because I'm thinking, like, you know how, like, uh, for real, I didn't yeah, realize no, it. Sure. I was thinking, like, fresh me, like, you a rookie. Like, you new here. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you white t-shirt. Like, you know, mm-hmm. on drumline, how they mm-hmm. had it. Yeah, I'm, yeah, thinking, yeah. I'm thinking that type of thing. I didn't realize that it was, like... Yeah. Fresh meat. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> and, then, and then when I listen to the lyrics and I listen to how, what I name, I'm like, why Sam let me name this song Fresh Meat? <laughs> but that song is so like, I just feel like that that song actually emulated what I was thinking in my head mm-hmm. when I yeah. when I was trying to write it. It yeah. was like, I want something that's like intriguing, something that's new, and something that make make you go like. Yeah. And it, it do that for so, sure, for sure, for sure, for yeah. sure. Fresh meeting, boy. <laughs> he like, I'm about to run that one back. Yeah, no, he no, like, no, I'm about no. to go. I'm about to listen to that. Now we do it, talk about the bars. You know, we just take something from the song and talk about it. You know, saying so we all gonna, you know, saying go off something, uh, some of your tracks in some of some of night too. Okay. Uh, Tequila blues. Uh, mm. What was your first drink? And what was your pro drink? So the drink that you felt like you grew up like, all right, I'm a pro at this drink and shit. This is what I'm a, you know, this what the drink. Stick, put, yeah. What I'm stick beside. What was that rookie drink? And what was that pro drink? Oh, the rookie drink. This is gonna see. I don't. I don't. I don't want people to think that. <laughs> uh, okay. So the rookie drink was Patron. Okay. Oh, you. Was, that's you, we was. Yeah. Started we, was, we started off. Well, no, 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 no. See, that's why I didn't want to say that. See, no. See, I didn't want. That's why I didn't want to say that. I've never been a big vodka fan. Um. Yeah. So, my friends used to buy the bottles, and they would buy Patron, mm-hmm. and so I started drinking Patron. Now I'm independent, and now I'm spending my own money. Yeah. Um, Terramont is my favorite. Okay. Um, yeah, I mess with that. That's, 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 yeah. that's, 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 that's what I'm going to right that's now. That's smooth. That's yeah. smooth. What about you, uh, Tori? Rookie was 18. Mm. That's true. You, you, that, that, was, you get a couple dollars um, too? <laughs> I wasn't buying a bottle either. Okay. okay. <laughs> I know that's right. Um, but you started off drinking 18. Mm-hmm. Um, then I graduated to dark liquor. I was drinking Remy <gasps> for a second. Oh, you been getting um, oh. And then, <laughs> again, wasn't buying a bottle. Yeah. Um, and then, now... Terramon and Casamigos. Yep. Yeah, I miss um, Casamigos. You make me a lemon drop, please make it with Tito's. Yeah. But yeah. For sure, for sure. <laughs> My rookie drink was that Sigma Gin. See, I was poor. But so. <laughs> we also wasn't different. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we you was ain't just, old, but you see, older than we were, us. We were just you trying to get drunk. <laughs> like we ain't wasn't going for no taste, no yeah. drunk. Oh, no. Yeah. Like, we yeah. trying to go from zero to yeah. drunk, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so that Sigma Gin, we'd go on our way to the club. Back in the day, we'd go to St. Andrews. Go get that single gin, get you a a, a little OJ, OJ mm-hmm. orange juice, mm-hmm. drink it up to about a corner, fill that mud up, and you drunk by the time you get to the club. Mm-mm. You know what just made my stomach hurt? Even this conversation. Thinking, because this conversation. Just, yeah. Because um, we had a time last night. We did have a time last um, night. Bombay is probably something I would never yeah. drink again. Yeah. I had it one time, one night, and I have never touched it again. I, I will never drink it. No. Yeah. Now, the song, okay. Okay got to be the worst response you can get from your girl. That's the point. Like, like, why is that word so strong? Like, and why do y'all use it? Like, y'all know it's gonna mess us up when y'all say okay. Like, so that's a hurtful uh, word. It's no, 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 no. I me. like how he inter- how he interprets music. Uh, yes, he because understands no. what's happening. <laughs> because no, that's not that's not really what it is. So, uh, you know how earlier we was talking about sometimes you just gotta let people have like mm-hmm. just let people win the argument even if you know you won. Mm-hmm. That's the meaning behind the song. Mm-hmm. I'm not going back and forth with you, and I'm gonna say okay. Yeah. And when I say okay, that's gonna piss you off. Yeah, hell yeah, it's gonna hurt. Especially you know if there's a text message like Facts. okay. Facts. Like you, if the bubbles go away, like Listen. Oh, damn. But also, I think what, and I, we gonna keep doing the guy and women thing. But mm-hmm. I think that when a woman gets to a point of okay, like a lot of men don't pay attention to, to their body language. Mm. And sometimes your body language in the conversation Man, can make what? you not want Come to on, talk man. to you. So mm-hmm. because you sitting there and you, uh, yeah. and you looking like, oh, she always got something to say. Yep. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Because you're not yeah. listening anyways. And I don't want to waste, yeah. I don't talk to hear myself talk. Mm-hmm. So I'm talking to be understood. Yeah. And if you're and not listening to understand, and baby, okay. What, yeah, 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 that yeah, works. For sure. Now, you don't have to answer this question if you don't want to. <laughs> you so funny. Uh, you know right, one, wrong time. <laughs> have you ever been in a situation where you're like, damn, like, this is the right, I, I, I know you've been in because you wrote the song. Like, this, <laughs> this person is right for me, but it just ain't, we in relationships or it just, I'm not ready for it. Like, talk about the time you had the right one, but it was just the wrong time. I'll go first. That was the like, look. Yeah. No, she gave me the look. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you go first. Um, I gotta think. <laughs> I feel like I have had people where mm. I thought that. Mm-hmm. So I may have thought that in a different type of situation, in a different predicament, maybe mm-hmm. this would have ended up differently. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's really 
fantasy. Okay. You feel me? So if somebody is for you, hmm. I don't think that there is right one, wrong time. Now, does that mean that that person later could, you know, whatever? Mm-hmm. No, that just that just means that you really wasn't the right one at that time. Like, for sure. you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, funny story. I wrote that song from a different perspective. Mm-hmm. Um, I wrote that song from a perspective of somebody else. Mm-hmm. Um, that you was the right one, wrong time. Right. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> so I wrote the perspective from some from. I have to break that down to you. Yeah. Let me talk about that later. But uh, <laughs> so have I been in a situation where I was with somebody and I thought that somebody else? Yeah, maybe was, relationship. Y'all just like, in general, yeah, like we vibe, but yeah, I'm we in vibe. A relationship or so I have, mm-hmm. but I am loyal to the like to the wrong extent mm. like uh, loyal when he say hi that's my man and yeah. uh we go together real bad <laughs> um so <laughs> so i may have had the thought it may have crossed my mind mm. but it, it never lingered long mm. so that's why i wrote the song from somebody else's perspective because i'm gonna be honest even if like you are all right but yeah. you know my because when I'm with somebody, mm-hmm. that is that is the mold. That is that mm-hmm. is the end all be all for me. So I mean, yeah, you cute, but, but yeah. are you really the right the right one? Is the wrong yeah. time? It's like, kind of crazy to go to that thought. You know, process. immediately, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now, on summer night, you said it's something about you on the on the late night. What 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 is it about somebody on the late night? Like you just that is is different. So I feel like when you are dealing with a person to want to spend time with them and to end your night with them mm-hmm. that means that y'all really enjoy each other so it's just about like you are a part of my almost like a night routine you mm-hmm. feel me you a part of before i go yeah. to sleep and if you can get me to the point of wanting to be with you before i go to sleep mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. tell it sure. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i can't stay away what's something like i, I just Hey, of course, with dog you with now, you can't stay away. But like, just talk about that. I can't yeah. stay away moment. Like, I can't stay away from you. Like, this is just like, damn, man, it's hard to leave you. You just and honestly, a part of summer night is about myself. Mm-hmm. You know, we mm-hmm. talk about me loving myself and and trying to continue to love myself. Mm-hmm. Um, I know I'm a vibe. Mm-hmm. Like, yep. I know that my energy is unmatched. Okay. I know that when you get out the car, mm-hmm. you're going to feel the difference between being with me and mm-hmm. not being with me so right. n- can't can't stay away is like you'll be back mm-hmm. you don't call me tomorrow mm-hmm. for sure <laughs> so for me can i answer that yeah okay <laughs> so for me right can't stay away prior to where i'm at right now in my life before mm-hmm. my relationship used to be like my soul uh peace mm-hmm. like that was where I, the only time i found mm-hmm. peace mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying prior to where i'm at now so I couldn't stay away because you is what's piece. keeping me yeah. grounded. Yeah. So like, but now I interpret that lyric a little bit different. When I say I can't stay away, it's because I found my own piece and you add to it. Mm. So now because you yeah. add to it, you can you can stay. Uh, yeah, I can't stay away. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. You, you on your way? You, you yeah. on your way? <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, uh, cut you loose. You said uh, goodbye. I'm not scared to cut you loose. Yeah. Uh, have you ever had a time that you was you were were you yes. were afraid to cut you, somebody loose? Because like yes. we all be in a situation where we might stick around just because we don't want the other person. To get that's you. why that, that's why I wrote the song yeah. because I at one point I was yeah. so it was like because for once I'm comfortable. Mm. Do you know how hard? <laughs> do you know how hard it is to get comfortable with somebody in no, this thanks. generation, mm-hmm. baby? We was locked. No, I know. Look, it's locked in. What at happened? Least, like if you lying. <laughs> I know how you lie. Mm-hmm. I gotta go meet somebody else, and yeah. I don't know what they tell tell somebody. Yeah, Your yeah. left eye twitch every time you lie, <laughs> and I like know that. Over. And I know that I want to start over. So I was, I yeah, I had that problem. Mm-hmm. I had a problem real bad. But then once I found, like I said, once I found my peace, found who I was, mm-hmm. and the situation where I was like, mm-hmm. once I let that situation go, and mm-hmm. that was the one that I was like, no, 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 I'm gonna stick beside them. Yeah. Boy, I let anybody go. Yeah. <laughs> now I will. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. When last time you cried? He always want to ask this question. I, I, I got to ask because y'all. I know y'all cry. I know you cried since you've been on the show. <laughs> let me know. They didn't have nothing. You want me death. To No death though. Yeah, no death. No yeah, death. Um, that'd, that'd be an easy one. Like what? Last week? You said like last week ago. Oh, well, what, why are you why are you cry? I was sad. Well, I'm gonna say what what was it? I just felt like life was over and ended. Not, yeah. not over, but <laughs> that was a day. <laughs> no, 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 not over. But um, 
I'm trying to figure out how I can wear yeah, this toilet paper. <laughs> Hold on, let me think about this because you know I know what very, I can wear. I got to be real cautious yeah. with what I say. Um, although I'm heel link, I still grieve being with somebody for sure for sure and i had a situation which i ain't gonna go too too deep into it but <laughs> yeah, i had a situation yeah, i had a situation that kind of like sparked that thought for me that was like oh my god like am i gonna be alone forever mm-hmm. like oh where is my man <laughs> I, was, I was just sad yeah. i was just sad but um and for me like when i get sad every it, it start with one thing and then it goes to everything. So yeah. at first I'm sad because I'm lonely. Yeah. And now it's just like. So many other things. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So many other things. Sure. But yeah, no. So that's that's what I was crying for. Yeah. And I, I also, I feel like sometimes you just need to get it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what's, like. Yeah. What's a movie that you watch that make you cry every time? I was talking to my cousin about this last night. Mm. Yeah, you answer that. I'm going to answer, answer the cry question. Then I'm going to answer that. Okay. Um, so I, last time I cried was last week. Mm. Um, club, right? we're very synchronized yeah. like that <laughs> um the reason i cry i will explain it in a sense of i'm one of the type of people where when i feel like i'm explaining myself in a in a very decent way mm-hmm. and i'm doing well at it and i mm-hmm. feel like it's not being received and that's with anything mm. um i get frustrated so mm. I'm great at communication. I'm great at not being selfish. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't try to have a conversation to be right. Um, so when I feel like I'm doing all of them things yeah. and I don't get the same thing in return, it mm-hmm. just it just frustrates me. So mm-hmm. I, I don't cry about a lot of things, but most of my tears come from feeling like people don't understand me. For sure. For sure. Yeah. yeah. What's that movie? Mine's is Crooklyn. I can't watch Crooklyn. Like, Hurt me. Damn. I feel that. <laughs> Mine isn't a movie. I actually, I'm one of those type of people. I'm. I would like to think that I'm an empath. I feel mm. people' emotions. I feel mm-hmm. their energy. Mm-hmm. Um, whenever I, I watch The Voice, mm-hmm. whenever I see somebody receiving their flowers, mm-hmm. so let's say a good performance happened, and you got John Legend, you got Reba, you got all of these people t- saying how amazing you are. Mm-hmm. That type of stuff gets to me. So whenever I watch The Voice, I cry at least one time. <laughs> just because to receive that, I know what that feels mm-hmm. like. Yeah. Or I know what it feels like to want that mm-hmm. and then to actually get it. Um, so The Voice always makes me cry. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know, you 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 even gave me extra time because you answered that you, other question. Yeah. And then you <laughs> answered this one. And I ain't going to hold you up. I still ain't got that. <laughs> because, okay. because, okay. I could tell you a movie. <sighs> not every time. <laughs> not every time I see it. Sometimes. Best Man Holiday. Okay. Ooh. When she had the cancer. Oh, yeah. when yeah. when she yeah. when he yeah. when he was like, damn, yeah. y'all. Yeah. 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 Got me getting it's, her tearing it's up like this. It's already hard when you uh, look at because you look at um, black men as like superheroes. They're strong, and I don't want to say that men are not supposed to cry because I think that I think that they are. Mm. But to see that. To see Morris yeah. Chestnut break down like that, yeah, as yeah, that. Yeah. listen, yeah. and it's like for that movie, they have all been friends for so long. For sure. yeah. I don't care what you say, scene, not yeah. scene, action, whatever. To actually go through the acting process of losing your friend yes. that you're acting mm-hmm. with, yes, like, that's yeah. a lot. You got to come out of that and then go into the next thing. Yeah, like, yeah. so yeah. I recently learned that they have like, um, they usually have like a preacher on set or mm-hmm. pastor on set to bring you out of that and mm-hmm. speak life into mm-hmm. the cast again yeah. um so hopefully they That's had what... that for that movie because that was yeah. see i yeah. got i got a, a what's name a name for it we can do for a show too what? they sing i talk oh <laughs> yeah. yeah i yeah. like that yeah so it's I like that. coming they, yeah, yeah. That'd, be, that'd be dope, that'd yeah. be dope. don't got, forget we, that we don't forget that write that down it's on camera it's on camera it's on camera it's on camera um making a band you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Diddy, man. I'm tired of people saying no Diddy, so that shit kind of trash. But uh, if y'all can make a, a super group with y'all two and three other people, who you would ready? it be? You ready? Who you adding? We adding separate or we adding collectively? Nico. Ari. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Anita. Pro- no producer. Yes. Oh, Anita. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Yes. So Anita, Nico, and who else? Anita. Ari. All right. Okay. Now, oh, yeah. that's, 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 um, uh, what about if you was going industry summer walker her how many how many we got y- mm-hmm. y'all have three people okay hear me out <laughs> okay no i don't like the way you looked at me <laughs> you have to say, go ahead 
I would, y'all can do separate. Y'all ain't gotta do it together. Oh yeah, yeah, you go. Okay, y'all, okay. No, I go go, 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 go yeah. yourself. Because we we make we, got, we make a different a type little, of vibe. Yeah, a little yeah. different. Um, I'm gonna say her. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say Seven Streeter. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Let me ask that's you. It. Oh, give me a producer though. Who gonna produce your all tracks? Because you, you, you. Oh yeah, you Seven Streeter, Miss Christiana, yourself, and give me yeah. a producer. Um, for producer. I'm sticking with Quest. Okay. Sticking with Quest. Mm. Okay, that's yeah. on me. Mm-hmm. How many people like? How many people I can add to this power Three. group? Three. Three. Two and three. And it, it gotta be. And it has to be females. Mm. Oh, you just said singers, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's. Get, let's you can be rappers if you feel like the rappers gonna make it. With it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to say, no, uh, don't cancel me for this. I'm not. I'm saying Chris Brown. I know people. People got oh, their beef with him, but you already know. I know you're not. But I'm talking about the people. Okay. I'm saying Chris Brown. Right. Hear me out. Hear me out. Follow me. <laughs> Chris Brown. Summer Walker. Ah, one last Avenger. Okay, let me think. <laughs> Chris Brown, Summer Walker, and Sizzle. Okay. Sizzle's and the fine. reason and the reason why I say that is because she gonna add that mumble aspect that we don't got. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Last question I want to ask y'all is, what's something y'all still feel y'all need to work on? If it's music or life, whatever. Some of y'all still feel y'all need to work home just to to grow from the next time I see y'all, or just next year, or however you want to, you know, what I'm saying put it. Okay, both of y'all looked at me. So I'm, <laughs> <answer>. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna give you two answers. Okay, go ahead. Music wise, um, I need to work on being a little bit more confident, mm-hmm. um, which is crazy for me to say, but confident with my natural voice, mm-hmm. singing regularly, just. Mm-hmm. Singing. I was gonna ask studio. you about that. I remember you made a post about your natural voice. Like you, what, what you don't like about it? Oh, not, I said what you don't like about it. But what yeah, you, I was gonna say it's not that I don't like. It's just I'm a perfectionist and I don't got st- I don't got studio spoiled. It's, yeah. So it's like, and then the comparison thing. Like it's some people that be running down doing all these riffs. I don't know. They say they say, oh, you can do that. Like my friends be like, oh yeah, you sound good, mm-hmm. but like it don't feel it don't feel like I, when I be listening to some of these people, I be like, oh, I gotta, I gotta. How do you do that? Yeah, <laughs> like what do I gotta do? do? Yeah, do it again and slow it down so yeah. I can so I can try. Yeah. But, but um, so I would say being a little bit more confident. That's a musical thing. And then as far as the personal, like Tori has already mentioned, maybe I should just you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Open up a little bit more. Uh, uh, yeah, that part. Uh, let your guards down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's gonna take. I ain't gonna let them Next all. Time I we ain't. see you. That's gonna still be something she working on. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not letting it all the way down. Yeah. You know, like yeah. half here, like right here. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. keep, you see how? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I gotta still. <laughs> what about yeah. you, uh, Tori? What's some stuff you still feel you need to work on? Um, musically, I definitely agree. Um, with the studio version of myself, like mm-hmm. I, I want to get back into sincerely enjoying hearing myself not polished um and like i said i think that goes into me being spoiled with how i have like some people they sit through a session and they hear their song Mm -hmm. not polished but anybody that i have worked with has almost mixed while i'm recording Mm -hmm. so it's like when you hear yourself sound so good it almost makes you feel like you don't sound good when you hear your regular self Mm -hmm. um so just just appreciating the process Mm -hmm. of the fact that I have to feel it in myself first before I even touch the booth for real. So, so, so. Um, in my life, I think I'm doing good. Okay. Yeah, you could you could work on hanging out with me a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, throw that in there. Put that in there. We had this That's is the like one. we went the longest without seeing each other. Recently. Recently. Like, yeah, like, first like time. we saw each other yesterday. We ran and did. Yeah. That's why y'all was you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a it was it's a celebration. Yeah, that's y'all yeah, took down the drink. Like, yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> Do you have um did you did you write something to summer night? Did you you got bars for that? Nope. No. Oh, okay. Um actually Sam wrote majority mm. of that. Um I I wrote a verse on yeah. that. Um, I thought she might read me some clip, the, like put us a little But the Oh, you mean like I, did I do like an yeah. open verse to mm. it or anything? No, not yet. Okay. Okay. You wanna give people your uh, sample of your voice or No, I'm cool. I am still working on that. I'm not there yet. Oh, yeah. I sung earlier, remember? You, you gave us a little I bit. I gave y'all a little. Yeah. You did. Hey, Jupiter. Okay. Jupiter I ain't gonna put y'all on the spot. You yeah, know what no, I was gonna sing with y'all. But, uh... uh <laughs> well, you time. started off. Next, next, next time. time. Next time. Next time. So, we gotta do this. Uh, they sing, I talk. Yeah. There's gonna yeah. be a title for this one. 
and we gonna yeah we gotta get together once a month till we can work something up. No, yeah, for real. I love that. And y'all come it. up with you know y'all write y'all little topics. We you know what I'm saying get on a little group junk on Instagram and you know talk yeah. about it. Yeah. Okay, bet. Yeah, get come together. Uh, let the people know where they can find y'all on social. Uh, man, the music, all that good stuff. All right, so y'all can find me on Instagram at Tori Sky T O R I S K Y Y. Don't forget the extra Y; it's part of the vibe. Yes, ma'am. Um, Bars. stream summer night. <laughs> mm-hmm. Stream the remix, mm-hmm. and I promise y'all gonna get some really, really good music soon. Mm. And shout out to my producers for helping me go into this next season. For sure, mm-hmm. for sure. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at, at Miss Christiana. And I know my name is long, so bear with me. Follow me. That's M I S S C H R I S T Y A N A. Stream that Elevate and stream that Shake It Up featuring that Talking Renegade. So y'all got any shows lined up soon or anything going on? Nah, somebody book me. Okay. Please book me. Um, I'm only doing bookings. Mm. So, yes. moving forward, okay. if it's Toot not your booked, horn. you're going to mm. see me. Singing, sure. I'll go to support anything. For sure, for um, sure. But yeah, no, no bookings mm. as of now. Okay, you heard them. You heard them. So, <laughs> book me, <laughs> book calendar. Me. Yeah. Me. Hey, y'all already know, man. Follow me, Shavers, everybody, S H A D V S, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Underscore podcast. Everybody should not spell everybody. But uh, make sure you follow, like I said, Q. Lewis 313. And yeah, we got, uh, you know what I'm saying, two dope singers, Miss Christiana. Fine, it's fine. Good to meet you. Nice meeting you. Toy <laughs> Sky, yeah, I know we, uh, we we distant we cousins. Like we like you know what I'm saying? And like I said, we gonna be doing this. You know what I'm saying? They sing, I talk. You know what I'm saying? Yes. This is the first, this is the first episode right here. Yes. First episode. episode. I love it. I love <laughs> it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We gonna we gonna lock in and stuff like that. And um, yeah, man. Uh, have a good time. Enjoy your life. If you think. Lions you, about to win. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I got four uh, teams that need to win, so I can get this six fifty real quick. Sure, but yeah. uh, come on, I hope all best, your parlays. Best podcast in the city. If you think different, then you smoking drugs, man. We out. Peace. Hey, y'all.